Yo, what's up? Eric Wong here from PowerDojo.com and today I've got a drill that's going to be really good for anybody who's got any type of shoulder issues, postural issues, and wants their shoulder to be more stable so that it can be stronger and more powerful. And I call this the closed chain scap circles. So the exercise is might not look like much, but when you do it properly, it's gonna activate the deep muscles that are really, really important for scapular stability, that give you that platform so that you can push and pull with a lot of force and have that stable shoulder joint as a foundation. And if you've got any kind of pain or anything like that right now, oftentimes the deep stabilizer muscles aren't working. So this drill is gonna be really helpful for you, okay? So, first of all, close chain, that means that your hand is attached to something that doesn't move and your body moves around it. But before you do this exercise, I want you to kind of get an idea of how your shoulder is supposed to work, how your scapula is supposed to move. So do it in an open chain fashion, okay? So I've got no shirt here, so you can see my scapula moving. It's for your benefit, okay? All right, so your arm's gonna be in this position. And what you wanna do is you wanna do basically a circle. So, or maybe think of it as a square. So if you push away, and you protract the scapula, it's going forwards, that's protraction, okay? My elbow doesn't move, it's just my, my shoulder blade, you can see it here, and I like to have my opposite hand on the shoulder blade just for some kinesthetic feedback, but put your hand up and then just move that shoulder forward, the whole shoulder joint without rotating your body, okay? It's just moving the shoulder joint forward, as you can see like that, and pulling it back, okay? That's protraction and retraction right there. Now, what you're gonna do with this drill is you're gonna protract and then you're gonna press it and then you're gonna retract and then you're gonna elevate, okay? And we go in both directions. So it's protract, depress, retract, elevate, and also depress, protract, elevate, retract, okay? So you see those four different movements. Now it's much easier to do in an open chain fashion because there's no resistance. It's just the muscles causing that movement. I'm just moving the weight of my arm, essentially. But this drill really gets good when you do it in closed chain fashion, like on a wall. So I don't have a wall, I just got this pole here. Same idea, okay? So I'm gonna show you a couple different views. First view, you set up your, you put your hand on the wall, lean a little bit of weight into the wall. You don't need to lean too much, okay? The more you lean, the harder it's gonna be. And if you're just doing this for the first time, that's gonna make it impossible, you're not going to get the right movement patterns, all right? So what you want to do is step away from the wall, lean into it a little bit, and then you're just going to retract, okay? Elevate, protract, depress. Retract, so my body moves forward, elbow stays locked out the whole time, okay? I'm pushing through the heel of my palm. Retract, elevate, protract, depress, okay? And then you go in both directions. So elevate, retract, Press, protract. All right, you see that? So it's like a, a box. You're doing four different motions, just like that. Let me show you the opposite view here. Okay, or the back view. So you can see the scapula moving. So here I'm going to press, retract, elevate, protract. Okay, press, retract, elevate, protract. And now I'll reverse that. Elevate, retract. Press, protract. All right, so you can see that drill there, how everything's moving, it's like a square. Now the key is, you don't wanna go too fast, especially if it's the first time you're doing this, okay? You wanna go nice and slow and just feel that muscle activating, locked out elbow, hands not moving on the wall or the pole or whatever it is you're, you're leaning up against, okay? And you're just, and your body's not moving, it's just all coming from your scapula and your lino humeral, humeral joint is moving. When you lock out the elbow, you make sure the core is not moving, you're not rotating or twisting or anything, you're not flexing or extending through the spine, that's gonna isolate that shoulder joint and it's gonna fire up those stabilizer muscles that we talked about, the serratus anterior, the middle traps, the rhomboids, the rotator cuff muscles, all those muscles are involved when you're moving the scapula and the shoulder joint through these different movements, okay? So take your time with this, you do like anywhere from three to six circles in either direction on each arm. And I actually use it as a warm up before boxing because when you really get into that lengthening where you're pushing away, you're protracting, that helps to, to get that reach out, okay? So you can really reach and hit your opponent from 
places where he doesn't think he can hit them from. Okay, especially good if you're already uh, a taller guy. All right, so that is the closed chain scap circle drill. Do it up, activate those muscles. Your shoulders are gonna really thank you for it. Okay, so that's it for today's little drill. Hope you enjoyed it. Love sending them your way, and I love hearing your feedback. So let me know what you think. Okay, I'm out. Peace.